Pretty, really well done and a remarkable story. Could you tell me silver wasn't even meant to run in the, in, in the guineas? No, uh, first of all, I thought uh, 1,608 furlongs was too short for her because she's always before finishing well her races. So she was declared to run the week before the 24th. But when I saw the list, it was 15 colts and her. And as you've seen, it's a very small filly. I felt that she should be hammered in that race. So I was on the phone with a handicapper and up to two minutes to nine and tried to figure out if we could get into the 1,000 Guinness. And normally, not too many runners. Luckily, we did get in. And he hoped his last words was that I... If you don't get in, I hope you're not going to be angry with me. But uh, <laughs> so uh, we're very pleased that we got in, and the results were excellent. It was an, an amazing performance. Did it? Did she surprise you at all? Because obviously you, you weren't here to see it on the day. No, I had uh, other races in Europe, so I had to be home uh, that day. She, yes, she surprised us a little bit. It's still a uh, filly. You see, she's very shy. She still looks like a very, very young horse. And, uh, but the way she did it, uh, it was, I think it was very <laughs> improving for the future as well. It was an amazing performance and she obviously handled the dirt beautifully. Mm. She's not really bred for it, is she? No, no. She's, she's a Kodiak filly and out of a mare who has been doing very well on the grass. So, but she's a light filly with a light, very nice stride. And at home we are training at least lot of the sand on the sand and she's always been doing well on the sand so um, it went well. And we've seen you out riding her in, in the mornings, has she improved from that race? Uh, it, yes and yes she has, she's getting more mature all the time and now she's starting to really get back to racing form. She was on the grass this morning and you could see, you could feel that uh, during and after she's really getting into the mood for racing now. And therefore, if you thought it was too short for her last time, this trip of the oak should be perfect. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. So, uh, it, it shouldn't uh, harm her at all. Huh? She, like you saw, she didn't uh, finish the race uh, in a slow pace. She kept on going very nicely. So, uh, I'm not afraid about the distance. Are you afraid of the Godolphin filly? She was sort of catching you last time, wasn't she? Yeah, she, have, uh, she hasn't had many runs. She had only had one run mm. before that race. So she did an amazing performance. Mine had more races in, uh, before. So I think that's the horse who probably have improved uh, for her last run. Mm. And I'll ask you about, uh, about fast as well. Like dropping down in trip this time, will that suit him better? We, it's a horse with uh, his own mind now. He has a lot of <laughs> capacity, but he's uh, thinking a little bit too much. We have to manage to fool him. He, uh, we tried with the bend last time. I thought that race also was a little bit easier than the six furlongs. And now this time we tried the six furlongs race. And uh, like I said, it's a very fast horse, but uh, it's so much in his mind now. So you never know with him. Because he was with you and then went to Eddie Line and then came back to you. Yeah, he came back because I went here to Dubai. Okay. And since I was here, I know the horse, they, uh, they let me have him here as well. And they obviously get on well, training together and everything. Yeah, <laughs> they, they are sister and brother, so <laughs> and they are doing very well together. And your record in, in Dubai, we were just looking back earlier, obviously Lamor de Mavie was your big winner here, but you've, you've really done well with the horses you've brought over. Is it a, a big part of your season? Are you planning from a, a long way out for the carnival? No, but I always want to go. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to be here, but I want to have the right horses for it. I've been here with Phyllis. I think uh, Phyllis who are improving during the end of the season in Europe, I've been bringing here and uh, they've been doing well. So it's... I'm trying, or I'm trying, I, I be, feel quite comfortable bringing fillies and uh, that's uh, what we've been doing all the time and uh, I hopefully I can keep on doing it.